What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? Today, I want to talk to you guys really quickly about a lure you should definitely have in your tackle box if you're after trout in the spring. Now, something I want to talk about really quickly in the springtime, we know that trout are starting their spawning habits. There's a small window in the spring that trout spawn, and in the fall, they spawn as well. But those mild temperatures really fire these fish up, and they're looking for really big bait fish presentations. Now, most of the times, you can get out on the flats and target them with paddle tails with great success. But there's many days that I get out there in the spring where the conditions just aren't conducive uh, to be having a big paddle tail ripping through the water, causing a lot of ruckus, or maybe that's just not what they're after for something that's fast moving. And I find that these twitch baits are a fantastic option to get big trout to bite in the springtime when paddle tails just aren't working. Again, I fish paddle tails 90% of the time. It just seems like there's some days that it's not working out. And I really find that these twitch baits are a good filler for those situations because they do a good job of invoking a very serious reaction strike from those trout that are after big bait fish meals. And I wanted to show you guys really quickly how to work these. Now, these are uh, kind of a mysterious lure to a lot of anglers, but believe it or not, if you've ever fished a topwater lure, it fishes very similarly. What you're going to want to do is take this lure. It has great castability. You can send it out a mile. And uh, basically, all you're going to do is work it like a topwater. And what that's going to do is make that lure walk the dog, basically, over a flat. So if you've got a lot of potholes you're working over or you're working through a creek mouth or creek bend, you're able to work that lure and same walk the dog motion, cover a lot of ground with it. But the big key for spring is that these fish sometimes get lethargic, whether you've got a cooling trend that's on the way or a really harsh warm front that the fish haven't gotten quite used to yet as you're coming out of winter, can really slow those fish down and put them in a really lethargic state. So as you're walking that dog, what you're gonna find is on the pause, a lot of times you will get a great hit because that lure is gonna settle back down. So you've got that great walk the dog action a lot of times when the top water bite slows down, you can break these out and get some really great bites with them as well. Uh, but that pause and that settling down, getting down to where the fish are on the bottom when they're really lethargic, works really well to get these fish on the bite. And these lures work really well all throughout the spring, from early spring when those fish are still very lethargic, through mid-spring and even late into the spring when we start getting a lot more big mullet that are around. That's when I tend to upsize the twitch baits that I'm using. In early spring, I'll use something like a Soft Dine XL that I'm showing you guys here. In fact, I've had some great success with this bait lately in the video that you guys are watching right here. Again, the same exact pattern that I just talked about, twitching it just like it's a top water, letting it settle down. These trout have been all over the Soft Dine XL lately, but when I get later into the spring, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and break out my Corky. That's, that's one of my favorite baits to use as we get later into the warmer weather when bigger bait fish show up. And this is just a, a time and tested lure for fishing for trout. It does that same walk the dog action. It's it's just got a little bit larger of a profile and it's got a nice little rattle in there too that does simulate that bait fish flicking its tail. Now, this was something I used early on in the winter when there was still a lot of big mullet around, but since then have downsized or slowed down my presentations, even used jerk baits. Uh, but I start breaking out those twitch baits again when spring rolls around because those fish, they change their patterns so much. You might go out one day and, and hammer them on paddle tails where you're burning it over the water, or maybe you're even catching them on top waters one day. But those days where you really can't seem to pattern them in with plastics, I highly recommend that you have a twitch bait in your box, break it out, and spend some time working really slowly through those areas, walking that dog over those potholes and letting it settle down into those depth changes. And you'll find a lot of big trout that'll come up and take you up on that offering. Now, one thing I do want to caveat all of what I've just said to is that these are not a bait you're going to want to use 99% of the time. I, again, do fish paddle tails most times because I'm able to cover a lot more ground with them than the twitch baits, and they are going to generate generally perform just as well. There are just those days when those fish don't want to chase paddle tails down or they're not keyed in on a straight retrieve or a straight drop. They're looking for that really erratic motion. I don't know exactly what triggers it. I'm just telling you guys what I've observed on the water recently, and I've had a lot of great success with these twitch baits uh, just getting after these fish when they aren't in that right pattern. Now, if you do want to pick some of these twitch baits up, we do have the Corky in the Salt Strong shop, and that Soft Dine XL is likely to be coming soon. And if you are an insider, you do get a 20% discount count on those. So if you're interested in picking some of these up, highly would recommend it. But if you guys want to see more awesome fishing tips and information, definitely check us out at saltstrong.com. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the number one online fishing club in America because we guarantee we're going to help you catch more fish, save money on lures and tackle, and make friends fast, or it's free. So come join us in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon, and thanks again for watching.